Norfolk's up 2-0 on the Stripers already in the third inning. They try to bunt the runner into scoring position. Kingham, the pitcher, says, no way. You're out. Diving catch on the bunt. Bad bunt attempt in the air. Diving catch. And then Wally's on the ground ducking for cover. Kind of rolls the grenade into the other trench. Double play. You missed that. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. And today's episode is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. Bum, 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 bum. Let's head to the X Games where 13-year-old Arissa True from Australia is behind. 10-year-old Reese is in first place. She needs a perfect run here to push herself in to gold. And she's got a 720 in her back pocket that's never been done in X Games history, but she's done it before. She's setting up. She's getting speed. She's setting up. Here we go. And after this one, everyone's like, okay, here it comes. And bam, boom, right in front of Tony Hawk, who was the first to ever land the 900. That was huge when I was a kid. If you're like, what's a 720? Here, here it is. She explains it. 720 is when you come up the ramp backwards and spin two 360s in the air and come back down forward on your board. That's what she did. She's pretty badass. 13-year-old wins gold. Had to pull that out of the back pocket and did. What a fun scene. Gold medal for her. Slam ball is back. It's been 15 years since it's been in the U.S. And the Ozone and Wrath are in a close one. McGee goes up for the dunk. But Bowman says, you're stopped. I'm the stopper. I have stopped you. McGee says, I'm resilient. I'm going to try again. He says, well, I'm tired. So I'm just going to foul you. Pushes him. Ref calls it, says, that's a foul. You can't push him at the waist like that. So then after the foul, we got another one going up for the dunk, and Bowman says, denied. I'm way taller than you and bigger than you, and bam, on the ground. But he does kind of fall on him in an awkward way. I don't know, you know, he can't really control where you're going to fall, but he kind of rolls over his head there, and McGee's upset about it. And then what happens is Bowman, or Bowman, I don't know how you say it, He's got a little bit of a bald spot, and his hat fell off. And a trampoline, everything sinks to wherever the body is. So he's got to find his hat because he's like, come on. I don't want to show people what's going on up here. So he's looking for his hat. It happens to be right under McGee. So he braces himself on McGee's body to pick up the hat. See, his one hand is on McGee's waist, like, stay down, dude. I'm getting my hat. And then gets his hat and then kind of looks at him. And maybe he says, are you all right? Or maybe he says, thanks for letting me get my hat. And McGee's like, dude. You just landed on my head. Why are you going to stand over me like that? And then they get up to talk, and he's like, I didn't like that. And then he falls, and and then he's like, all right, damn. Let's just act like my head really, really hurts. Maybe it did really, really hurt, but he's just going to sit down, take a little bit of a breather, because that's three in a row, maybe four, where he didn't come out looking great. New York and Delaware, Little League Softball World Series, little bunt out at first and then they try to come home and safe this game had some really good play some really good celebrations the team from new york oh comebacker got it no big deal we're off next tongue out flexing play at home big old slide this was what i liked this screaming lutz from delaware let's go babe let's go baby she's into it i love it give me all the emotion give me the good plays Now, these two teams were making really nice plays, which I enjoyed. The team from New York is 11-0. They went 2-0 regionals. Shortstop in the hole goes to third. Super close. I'm so safe. They go to review it. They didn't say it was confirmed. They didn't say it was overturned. They just said it was upheld. And I like the umpire's call. Safe. Now, play at third. Coming home. They get the out. Because we're tied up in six. Bases loaded. Play at first. That ball's just hit too slowly. And the runner is safe. And Massapequa, New York, wins to be 13-0 now, I believe, in tournament play. And they move on. They've won the state championship two years in a row, I believe. This girl, she's like, wait, did we win? I'm going to slam my helmet. I love it. Get after it, Massapequa. Good stuff. Sweden and South Africa playing against each other in the women's WC. South Africa has never won a match. They're up 1-0 at one point, thinking they're going to win. They're 54th ranked. Sweden's ranked third. Sweden's been playing really well. But in the 90th minute, it's tied up one apiece. Sweden has a corner kick, sets the ball up beautifully, put into the middle where it finds a nice blonde head. Because they're all blonde in Sweden. And then goal. 
Sweden and South Africa, whenever I see these international matchups, I'm like, hey, did they have any, what's the country's relationship like? Sweden, huge help, anti-apartheid. They were early to it. They were like, this is bad. We're going to help. These guys are friends. They export, import. I didn't know that. I like finding that. Anyway, Sweden beat South Africa, so they weren't friends in that day, and South Africa's a little bummed about it, so don't bring it up. That ends the show. There's only one thing left to do, and that's vote on who is your fan of the week. But also, I got to tell you about these Ridge wallets. Look how slim they are. They can hold up to 12 cards plus your cash. They got air tags on them now, so you'll never lose them if you're a dumb, 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 dumb dummy like me. Also, don't sit on a... You know, a giant wad in your back pocket hurts your back. Look at these. Nice and slim. You can save 10% using our code JOMBOY at Ridge.com slash JOMBOY. And thanks to them for sponsoring the show and helping me catch you up on all the things you missed that you never planned on watching. Fan of the week. Who do you got? Vote accordingly. Vote smart. Use your heart. Subscribe to the channel. Breakdowns are coming back as my paternity leave is coming to a close. And I'm excited to start crushing the rest of the baseball season and uh, enjoying it all with you guys. So appreciate you. Goodbye. Farewell.